Josiane Dushimire hano muri kasha nkora nka agent operations assistant My name is uh, Aude Kaze I am a, I am a midwife uh, it's been six years now and yeah I do uh, prenatal classes and I do uh, labor and postpartum in the clinic where I work my name is Marilyn Mandi. I work at RISIT as a natural consultant for Kasha. I'm managing my employees, making sure they're getting all the assistance they need and um, being there for my staff. There are those people that they are well experienced, it's so all caring and very compassionate, I can say. So when you are with them, you feel really safe. A midwife is a, is a health professional who accompanies, uh, who accompanies uh, the couple before, during and after trouble. So she takes generally, she's there when you decide, like when you are pregnant, until you give birth. And she also stay with you when you just give birth and then you get back home with the postpartum with your baby. Most of the ideas are like uh, how to conceive, you know, which position should I use with my husband uh, to conceive a baby. Um, the second ones are most of them are more about like the fears of labor. Um, they want to know how to act, how to breathe, what should they do, what should they don't. Um, also about um, C-sections, most of them also. And then about oh, some of the young women ask me about ovulations. Why should I know that I'm ovulating or not? But they're very like, there's a type of questions. so many advices uh, if you mean the one that was uh, helpful to me maybe uh, I remember the midwife um, advising me to give a natural birth without using uh, no epidural like she advised me she taught me how to to manage the pain during birth without uh, any medication or any sort of uh, anesthesia, I would, I would say. So among all the information that I give women, the especially one is more about um, to be confident, you know, to be confident because most of the mummies who, parents who come to give birth, they're very, very anxious because they are not prepared. We prepare women to breathe because breathing is very necessary. It's like how to breathe when you're in contractions, how to breathe when you are not in contractions, and then how to be able like, to take your respiration as, as the labor goes. Uh, it can be also about uh, which positions should I take when I'm in labor, not when you're giving birth, but when you are in labor, because most of the time, women want to lay down, and this is something that I don't really encourage most of the mummies. It's like more like stand up, dance, uh, try to walk as long as you have contractions because of the gravity of the baby. If you stay laying down, it's different if you stand up because of the gravity, the baby is gonna engage more in the pelvis. There was a, a breathing technique as well that they taught me how. Yes, I cannot tell you how it is now because I had forgotten about it, but yeah. Now, if you're going to take care of your muganga, asanga already in the if time is at hand, to hear a honga or to get a good job, because you're going to be a mommy, you're going to be a girl, 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 you're going to be a if you came for your first time uh, to the clinic, you might see a gynecologist or you might see a midwife. So we do like a checkup where we collect all the information that's gonna help us. For example, if I have like a mother, she comes, she has like a, a high blood pressure. 
it can be stressful or you can see that in the family history for example her mother had like a blood pressure so for you you're gonna be more um, pay attention on that and be able to say okay if she had blood pressure I should know her blood pressure just to be able to like to help her hari umunsi umwe nigeze gutaha umunsi twa dufite work nyinshi cyane ku ishuri ngera mu rugo nka samoye none no mukayira kamwe nkakajya mu rugo umuntu ushobora kugenda nabo kagwa ndagwa ndanyerera ndagwa none ho meza kumva munda munda kumba nakibaza ari ku mwana ntagari gutera nkuko najyaga mbyumva byawe ngo komentaje ntansubira kwa muganga ndagenda baravuga bati hari habayeho shoke nya ari ku ngubu umuti muri gutera nakibazo for me, if I have to give birth again, I'll always ask for a midwife because it's that person that you really com feel comfortable with. She's well experienced. You know that she has delivered babies. Uh, uh, for instance, you will feel safe with her, especially when, let's say, it's your first pregnancy because you don't know anything about it. You don't know what's going to happen to you next. <laughs> nari kujya kwa nari kujya kwa muganga ku gihe nkamenya ibiri kumbaho ni impinduka zigiye kuba mu mubiri wanje nuko nzitwara umwana amaze kuvuka if you are the kind of woman who run all day like each day uh, as your activity physical activities i think that you can keep it but um if you're more like if you're more like someone who go to the gym who do like who take weight and then who run a lot it's really good to reduce to reduce i don't want to tell you to stop but you should like reduce a lot about that you know and then also um able for example to take care of your perine the perineum the one who's I take my my pelvis with me. Um, so the perine is more like it's here, and it supports uh, the rectum, the bladder, and also the uterus. So if you're someone when you do, for example, let's say squats, okay, and then you don't protect your perine, you're gonna it's gonna be it's gonna start to be like very like elastic. So we have to be able to maintain that. Well, I used to work a lot. I used to work a lot because as I was get, getting heavier, <laughs> I could not have that much sleep. But working before going to bed had helped me a lot. I remember doing that. And I had some few sessions as well of uh, yoga, of pregnant women yoga, if I recall. Yes, yeah. And it helped. Having a midwife around me, oof, it felt like um, a proper, a real support. As a family, it's a good question because it's a new experience that you're having with, a, with your partner, especially when, obviously, if it's your first kid. So when the midwife comes in, she actually helps you both to understand each other, if you know what I mean. Because sometimes you can come up with uh, uh, an idea talking to your partner and he'll be like, oh no, you don't know this, me, I know better than you. But when the midwife comes in, she helps you both to understand each other well and get actually more organized with the baby, with the household, with everything actually. Yeah. It's the best positions. Um, I'm talking about this, by the way, guys, on the, on Crazy, on the, on the platform on Instagram, on Crazy Midwife. Mm. I think that the best position to give birth, to, to have a baby is the, the position that you choose as a partner and to have fun with that. I think that it's not like, first of all, it's not for you to put in the mind like, oh, we need to have this baby, so let's try, try, try these positions. So I think that you should be already relaxed and um, some of them are good. They're like you have the missionary one who was very good. Um, you have the sleeping beauty who is very nice also. Um, you have the spoon also that you can use. Um, what I don't recommend is the one um, if the woman is on top. So it's really good to lay down 
or to be to lay down or to be on spoon uh, but you can have fun make babies make babies <laughs> <laughs>